Experiment 3. Density of saline solutions. Dilute a solution of a known concentration. Well, uh, to start, I've got my solution of known concentration that I made from my 5 grams of salt. I've got my graduated cylinder, 50 milliliters. I've got my distilled water, and I've got my waste beaker. Now, if you'll remember, I just had my solution of known concentration with my 5 grams in here, so there's still some of that solution in here. Since I'm making a new solution and I'm diluting it with distilled water, I need to condition my graduated cylinder with distilled water. So I will do that once. Small volume. Turn it. Run the solution down the side. Conditioning is always three times. Three. Now the solution in here is distilled water, which I'm going to be adding anyway. I'm going to halfway fill it up approximately. Oh, I'll get rid of my waste beaker for a minute here. I've got, uh, looks like 27 or so milliliters. I'll need my distilled water again in a minute. Now, uh, you've been asked to take 10 milliliters of your more concentrated solution and dilute it to 50 milliliters uh, to make a more dilute solution. So now, to get 10 milliliters, I will now pipe at 10 milliliters of my uh, solution made with 5 grams of salt, or approximately 5 grams. I'm getting low on solution, so I'm actually going to turn it to make it a little deeper here. And this is one of the reasons you want to put this in your 100 milliliter beaker and not a beaker that's any larger than this, because your solution will have less depth if it's a bigger beaker. All right, so. And you want to be careful, just like in everything you do, but you want to be careful because dilutions will matter if you don't get it right on. Total of six. Total of eight. Total of 10. Now I'm finished with the solution right now. Now I've just added the solution here, so I'm going to swirl it. It actually looks like it's well mixed, but let me give it a little vigorous. Yeah, it's all well mixed. No swirlies, no density gradients, well mixed. Now I've got to finish all the way up to my 50 milliliters. To do that, remember you can't go over but I am going to fill this up to about 40 something. Filled it up to about 48 with my distilled water. Now I'm going to fill it up to exactly 50 with my pipette. Could be any pipette this time, but I'm just going to use my same pipette. However, it did just have solution in it and not distilled water, so I've got to condition it with distilled water. Oops. Now whatever is in here is distilled water, I'm happy to say. Now I can fill it exactly up to 50 using my distilled water, not going over at all. I always like to flat it, set it on a flat surface and look straight across. See, a little swirl is there because I am adding water. Good. 
good. Anything that goes into the pipette, still a waste. Now I've got exactly 50 milliliters. Um, and now I've got to mix it. And I will now mix, and inversion is allowed. And I just so happen to have a pre-torn piece of saran wrap here. Because the tearing got a little complicated for me last time. Put it over, hand over the top, invert it. Till the swirlies are gone. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten should be good. If you have any questions, another time will be fine. I don't see any more swirlies in mine. I'm going to say this is well mixed. This is a diluted solution of known concentration. And I can then next measure the density and percent composition of it.